Uh, the best way I could possibly sum up having a successful wash business is just simply don't give up. Because if once you give up, it's over. It's over. It's over. Yo, yo, what up guys? Mike here, owns pressure washing. So, just getting back in after a long day. Uh, been having a lot of long days and, um, you know, with, with running a business, it's not just doing the work, you know, and I'm trying to really work on getting the guys to do the work and me not having to really be there. And I know it's gonna be little little baby steps uh, a lot of the times now I'll be at the job and I try to just maybe even stay in the truck take some phone calls Return some phone calls that I get because I get alerts from Jill's office all day long that people are calling and Some people just want to talk to someone, you know, and Jill's office is great, but they don't know You know, it's kind of impossible for them to know everything that I know so um, But yeah, so it's just baby steps and uh so the you know it's just been a, it's been a crazy few weeks we're in the prime time you know knee deep in 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 wash and just go 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 we're booked out three weeks and that's a lot that's a lot for me you know um my prices are higher than most of the people in my area and you know it's just the quality of work that we give is very 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 above other people in this area um as far as it's just the rinsing the rinsing that i do alone the rinsing of the roofs the rinsing of the plants like we spend more time rinsing than actually cleaning so is it overkill sometimes sometimes it's not you know it's just uh it helps me it helps me be to be able to sleep at night better knowing that we got everything all that extra chemical off um so i think it's worth it you know worth it the rinse because i'm not getting phone calls that i killed any plants and we neutralize and we cover some plants when we need to and we go above and beyond but uh you know part of this success that i'm getting a lot of people ask me like what i did to get successful and i do you know i do a lot of different things with google and my social media but it's more than that um do good work all the time if you're doing good work and when you first start out you're gonna have situations where you're not really washing that much but you'll get little jobs here and there and if you get yourself a 50 dollar driveway do it man people talk smack on the internet all day long about the 99 dollar guy and to be quite honest like i'm sick and tired of people complaining about people charging really cheap because in my area man i am literally probably one of if not the most expensive power washer in my area definitely one of them like one of five expensive people not i don't even want to say expensive but charge correctly um, I mean, I don't do a roof for less than $300, and in my area, that sounds cheap to probably some of you guys, but I mean, these people tell me, oh, my last guy charged $150, $175, uh, I won't pay more than $200, that kind of stuff, and they may be full, full of crap, they may not, but I ain't got time for that, man. Um, there's people out there that are willing to pay premium and they know if you do premium work and that's the thing about when if you're patient in this business and you don't get discouraged in the beginning and just walk away because you're not getting phone calls left and right and uh, you know you're not working every day it's okay you, you can't quit you just got to keep going do your $100 driveways, do your $75 driveways, take your time, do great work, clean the mailbox and clean the AC pad while you're there. You got time on your hands, so who cares? It doesn't matter. The, the, the price doesn't matter in the beginning. What matters is doing good work. And when you do good work and you 
have good marketing and you're you're active on Facebook and Google and all that kind of stuff it's gonna pay off and you start accumulating reviews and next thing you know your phone's ringing off the hook you know it could be a year it could be six months it could be two months it could be two years doesn't matter you have to just not give up that because doing you know as kids we're trained we're trained as kids in school. If you think about this, when we were kids in school, you were taught a bunch of stuff in school, a bunch of useless nonsense, really. But you were taught that you go to school, then you go to college, then you get a job working nine to five, right? And I remember feeling guilty that I didn't go to college and feeling like uh, I was gonna miss out on life, like, at when I was about 21, you know, my life wasn't, you know, I was in a lot of, I had a lot of crap going on in my life, and it wasn't the best, you know, I didn't have the best from right before I left high school to, you know, mid-20s, I, my life was a mess, so, but I remember always feeling guilty that I didn't go to college, and it always felt like it was too late, and I wasn't going to be nothing, because I didn't go to college, and it's bull crap, man, and I'm so glad that I got myself out of that mentality and realized that I, I didn't need to go to college and all I had to do was do what I want to do which ultimately ended up being this now I have another business plan being worked on right now I'll bring that to you guys later on I gotta there's more I gotta put into it I don't want to get too far into it um, but it's gonna be pretty good money uh, I've been doing a lot of research on it so We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that later but basically the success guys is doing good work and being like an honest loyal person to your customers um if they don't want to pay the premium service you know when you as you get you know not in the beginning you can't charge super high prices but as you go on and you realize your you realize your value and i treat my customers like almost like you know so important that they're gonna keep coming back to me there's actually times that I have overestimated every everybody agreed and people might knock me for this but I'll get to a job and realize I might have overestimated it and they were okay with spending what they were spending but literally I've taken money off of an invoice and sent it to them and just said hey uh, I overestimated it a little bit not all the time it happened once or twice and that's the kind of stuff that I feel like when you when you're an honest contractor or a service person or you have a service company that's Gia barking out there you know I just believe in karma so you have to treat people right treat them with respect if they're trying to beat you up on a price don't don't get nasty with them just tell them how it is hey listen you know I apologize if the prices are too high you know there's plenty of other people in this area that are probably willing to do that job for you it's just not I'm not really fit for this job and if you think my prices are too high we should probably just part ways and you know get another contractor no hard feelings but I get the thing is when I do get these people that pay the premium prices they are so happy and they leave me reviews and they thank me because just because my personality my communication my my level of work ethic i make sure if i'm not doing the washing and my guys are there i make sure they do a good job i trained all these guys and i trained them because this is my name on this company so i'm going to go above and beyond every time so i may be just going off on a little bit of a tangent here listen if you're starting out go wash a driveway for 50 bucks who cares who cares what people say who cares who cares who cares get out there take your time do a good job the neighbors will come out and see you uh the the more you're out there working the more people are going to notice you get get good magnets on your truck get a good logo off of fiverr and this ain't expensive guys you just want to make sure they know who you are and what you do and how they get a hold of you um name number and what you do Obviously, you want to put like power washing or roof cleaning big. You want your phone number big and you got to get some kind of branding going. So grab two different types of colors, you know, whether it's black and yellow or 
I have more of like a green and black or a green and blue, you know, but I kind of have that Irish brand, um, and it's been working out for me. And so just get out there, make people remember you, do the best work you can do, treat people with respect. People are going to try and beat you up. Don't cave in later on as you're getting busy. Don't cave on your prices. Just do what you think is right and as far as what you should charge nobody can tell you what to charge you know it's just you got to figure out what the square footage is and then come up with your square footage rate that's the best way to that's the easiest way to do this and like i said you just and if if this was easy it is easy but if it was really easy everyone would do it and the reason why we're able to do what we're doing as entrepreneurs is because we took that leap and we took that first step into making a business which I think many people think about starting a business but not many people actually follow through with it so if you're on watching this video uh, go ahead like it but you're and subscribe do the whole thing hit the notification bell but the point I'm trying to make is if you're watching these videos you're already 10 steps ahead of most people and you're already obviously serious enough to be starting a business so you're ahead of the game just you can't give up because once you give up it's over with so just don't give up and like i said i've become really successful not even full not even three full years of doing this business and i'm doing really well and it just keeps getting better and i'm thankful for everything i'm grateful i'm always giving back to people so if you have questions comment them below or go into the facebook entrepreneur army group Make sure you answer those questions or else you won't get in. It's free, but you just got to answer questions that you would be so you would be shocked about how many people more people try to get in that group than are in the group that just don't answer the questions so they don't get in. So, I mean, the the group would be like almost probably 5,000 people, but only how many, I think there's almost 1,000 700 something like that, maybe 500, I don't know. But that's all that's in there. They're serious. They answered the questions. But anyway, guys, that's the key. Just don't give up, all right? So if you want to have a successful wash business or any type of business, you just got to do this. And that is not give up. Guys, make sure you stay humble, keep hustling, and stay hungry. Catch you next time.